over time, as you think about the box business model or even abstracted away into this, any system of record business model, where does the value in that business model accrue to over time? Systems of record were built for a TAM of human employees. Yeah. And that was sort of where the value kind of maxed out at. And now I at least imagine, I think anybody you know doing AI agents imagines that maybe we'll have like 100 times more agents than people or 1,000 times more agents than people. So I think on a relative basis, the agent uh, layer will we'll, you know sees sees you know growth from zero to a trillion let's say yeah. but the system of record layer now has a thousand times more users on it yeah. that need to access data and need to execute a workflow and need to move things through various events and importantly you need as an enterprise to care about data integrity and security and the controls in your workflow and and traffic copying the agents so so basically this is where I I, I am you know very uh, diametrically opposed to the view that that the system of record kind of gets you know is kind of squeezed into a database you know interaction layer because you actually need all of the core system of record properties for the agents to operate on. I think it's basically a, a, a situation where both win, and then the and then more of it that maybe the germane question on on then what what happens is how many of the systems of record become the system of intelligence yeah. or agents for their use case. Yeah versus how many startup opportunities are there to go disrupt an existing system of record, peel off those users, peel off the data, peel off the workflows. And then a third category of how many times are there is there not even an incumbent, and you just have a net new startup that is going after a space that doesn't have a software incumbent, and it's just total greenfield. Yeah. And I think there's actually going to be a lot of those spaces. And, and so you know, I, I would bet basically on most startup revenue by mass you know, emerging in the third category of brand new spaces that software can be applied to for the first time ever. So I think most startup revenue will come from there. And then I think you'll have a kind of a, you know, a handful of categories in the middle section, which is a startup disrupts the incumbent because the incumbent didn't build their agent layer, you know, fast enough or good enough, or they were kind of stuck in some myopic part of the market or view on the, on the market.